we force ourselves too much. Get too much until we forget just being. Let Hi, I'm Isabel Rolo, and Let welcome to the show. Shine. Let it shine. Let Hello, welcome to Let It Shine Show. Today is with us Alessandra Underhill. Welcome, Alessandra. Thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you in Let It Shine Show. It's a pleasure to shine on your show. You are shiny. I am <laughs> that shiny. For sure. I, I did my makeup <laughs> special just for you. And for the people that they don't know you, Alessandra, who is Alessandra? Alexandra Underhill, I am. Um, oh, uh, it could be really poetic and say I'm rhythm, texture, and form incarnate as a sculptor and artist in this life. Um, I am a performer, artist, author, arts educator, voiceover, singer, still dancer, mm, dancer. I do a lot of things. Wow. Yeah. Just a, a, I like to think of myself as an example of just expression, mm -hmm. human expression. And uh, you are very shiny. Uh, do you dress like that every day? No, <laughs> no? <laughs> just for special occasions. Okay, yeah. so this is not the way that you go to No, shopping. but if I could, yeah. if I had two hours every day to, to yeah. do this get up, I would. Two hours they take in? Yes. Doing the, the get up Yeah, makeup. the makeup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love your hair. Thank I you mean, so much. Thank you so much. I'm also a costume designer, and so okay. um, for a while, uh, before I relocated to mm -hmm. L.A. two years ago, I was the artistic director of a performance troupe for 16 years. And so I had to costume and mm -hmm. um, figure out the integrity of the show and the overall design and so on and so forth. So I'm the queen of like fabulous in five minutes. So oh. this hair is a result of um, many years of uh, learning how to make things that can be put on really quick. Yeah, and so. they look very, very nice. Thank you. It's amazing. You doing the, the makeup yourself? I in do the, the makeup myself. I did. I worked with Cirque du Soleil for a little while as doing oh, wardrobe. Okay. And I learned their style of layering the mm -hmm. makeup. And you know, as long as you do it in steps, then you can get something that looks like it took mm -hmm. forever, which it does, but mostly it's drying time. Because you paint something on, you let it dry, then you put the glitter mm -hmm. on, and then you put the white, and then you do the red, and da da da. Yeah, because it reminds me a lot to the Circo Soleil type Yeah, they're the my biggest inspiration. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so you're layering over there. Yeah. Yeah, wow, it's, it's very nice, very shiny. Thank you. One day you need to come in here and do it for me. Okay. And we look yeah, <laughs> I always different now and for <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to make you sparkle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would love it. I, uh, and you say that you are a designer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And do you make this? And you I did, I made the, your... Now this tie, it? this bracelet, I'm going to take it off you for sure. a second, is made out of men's ties. And then oh, as you wow. can see here, I brought some of the stuff that I've been working on recently. Um, this is my men's tie design. So I do these amazing mm -hmm. bags wow. that are all made out of men's ties. They have magnetic closures, as does the bracelet. So you recycle? I do. I'm very oh. into recycling. Oh, wow. So I also am an arts educator with teaching mm -hmm. kids to recycle, but more importantly, to upcycle. Do you know what upcycle means? No. It's giving life, new life, to something that's already been used. For example, the ties. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, people wear them once, they stain them, they don't think they can clean them, and then they give them the goodwill. So I go okay. around, I collect them, I clean them, and then I make them, I coordinate them and make them into beautiful things that give them a whole new life. So yeah, that is very nice. Yeah, and so these are some of the things that I've done. And then I also have a book out really? called Alternation, mm -hmm. which is all about upcycling. So you're taking, you know, you, before you throw your old clothes away, <coughs> you and throw them, you know, give them to the goodwill. Take them apart and put them back together. And there are several design recipes in mm -hmm. here that will show you really creative, simple ways to do that. You know, create your own style because mm -hmm. who can pay for other people's style these yeah. days? Imagination. So make your own. Is I know, right? Mm -hmm. We have to ex um, exercise our imagination more. You designed your shoes also? I didn't. No, I got these no. in New York and I wish okay. I had bought three pairs because I love them so much. Look I'm going to wear them to death. They're super comfy. You look like you like high heels, right? I, I don't like high heels. I love mm -hmm. platforms. Really? Yeah, because the platform, see, my foot mm -hmm. is is flat. Mm -hmm. High heels, they rack your arch, they, they destroy your calf. And I'm an athlete, so I can't be wearing heels a lot. Mm -hmm. So you platforms exercise a lot? I do. You have to every day. Mm -hmm. As you'll see later, I'll be you know doing a little jam okay. on my tall sticks. Mm -hmm. But in order to be able to do that, you have to stretch every day. If your body forgets how to move, then it gets tight, and then you can mm -hmm. rip muscles, and all sorts of damage can be done. So, so you, need to you have to exercise. Flexible. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to stay flexible. And in how you stay flexible is 
moving every day, even if it's a walk mm -hmm. or it's just bending over or stretching. But I do yoga. I mean, I, I've okay. been an athlete since I was young, so I, I, I exercise my energy every mm -hmm. day. And tell me something more about your designs, Alessandra. Well, these designs are, mm -hmm. well, let me share another thing that I'm doing. Okay. I, I, part of a campaign oh, um, nice. that uh, recycling is always in fashion. This mm -hmm. is also along the lines of what I'm doing here, but I have this card series that I, I um, made. And this is all out of plastic bottle labels. If you look at the card, the, those are all plastic bottle labels that I made the dress out of. So you go out and you keep all plastic labels? Well, the, this was a result of working with middle school kids, and oh, okay. this was also in Cleveland, Ohio. But we took the the labels off the bo of oh, bottles, of bottles, and bottles. we used <laughs> twenty thousand bottles mm -hmm. in the fi finished product. So those are the labels from twenty thousand bottles, and so we used the bottles to make furniture and uh, chandeliers with the wow. kids, and that was their final school presentation. It was so amazing, and they kept. Uh, we set up everything in the cafeteria, and they kept it there for a week. The um, principal loved it so much. But I was teaching them upcycling. So mm -hmm. I took it one step further and took the labels that we would have thrown away and I made them into a vinyl paper and then made them into an outfit. And then also the jewelry okay. that I'm wearing right here on mm -hmm. the top of my head and on my arms is melted plastic bottles that have been designed like flowers. You cut and you melt them with, yeah, upcycle. Very, very elegant. Yeah, and, and very cool. Fun. Thank you. They look fun and shiny. And <laughs> very shiny. Very stunning. Do you always, Alejandra, have this imagination? Yeah, I can't help it. That's why I think I wish the world would catch up with me because I <laughs> there's so much that we're not utilizing in this life. We're, we're, we live in this matrix where we're told what to do and you have mm -hmm. to stay within this border and this lines. And I just I've it's been my nature ever <laughs> since I was young um, to to just push the boundaries, you know. And it's like, why are we? still oil dependent when we could be using free energy. Why are we throwing away plastic bottles when we could melt them and make them into crazy things and play with them? And you know, why are we throwing away mm -hmm. clothes and ties when we could remake them into something, you know? I, I think, I mean, we'll, I don't want to go off into another you know, realm of discussion, but there's so much distraction in mm -hmm. staying in this format, which- The matrix. The, let's call it the matrix because mm -hmm. it's not by choice. You know, it's like we are grown up, we're born into this world, and we're told what mm -hmm. not to do all the time. And it's like, well, <laughs> what about this and what about that? And so, are you a rebel? Um, sure, you could call me a yeah. rebel. I'd just like to say um, a creative renegade, really. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I always think that um, when I'm working with kids, I always think of myself as leading the creative lib liberation army. You know, because creative liberation is being snuffed out. I mean, but the army is a very violent. army meaning group. You know, maybe you could call it collective yeah. or um, tribe. More, more tribe. importantly, mm -hmm. you know, creative liberation tribe. What inspires you? What inspires me? Life inspires me. There's so mm -hmm. many choices in this multi-dimensional life that we live, and we're only, you know, people only mm -hmm. think that you can do so only, you know, just a small amount of stuff, and it's like we live in a holographic world. Let's take advantage of it, you know? So you have fun every day. So you wake up in the morning and say, well, let's see what I can yep. do in a different way. What is the most that I can do today? Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, what can I make? Let's see, what can I make? Let me get all this stuff together. And what can I make? How can I inspire? Mm -hmm. You know, how can I elevate the next person that I meet? You know, how, what is the, how can I uh, elevate the energy exchange that I'm going to have with the next person I meet or with the people I meet or with the people that I'm performing for? Because mm -hmm. I do love to perform. As you can see, I'm in my performance outfit, yeah. not my everyday outfit, but my <laughs> performance outfit, you know, and I, I, I always just love to bring people up mm -hmm. because, I don't know, I, I, I live in a special world, my world is special, you know, I want to share that with people, so, as do you, mm -hmm. by allowing us all yeah, to shine thank with you. you for coming mm -hmm. to Let It Shine, I'm mm -hmm. shine here, I'm inspiring other people to shine. Absolutely. Are you, uh, consider yourself a happy person? Yes. I mean, sure, my father passed away in May, so that was not oh, the most sure. happiest month, but bless you, Dad, I love you. Um, but, you know, we go through highs and lows in life, but you have a choice to be happy. You know, I mean, you can be um, sad about whatever you want if you, you want to be sad, but that's such a waste of energy, and it's so much more energy to be uh, unhappy than it is <laughs> to just, you know, let yourself be happy. Um, you can choose 
you can choose to be whoever you are, whoever you want to be, at any minute. And if you, if there's a situation, just I don't know. I, I you, you have a choice. I'm trying to think of this quote. Mm -hmm. um, Misery is mandatory, but happiness is the choice. You know, in this, <laughs> yeah, in this life. Do you remember how old you was when you created your fair costume? When I cr created my first costume. Mm -hmm. Um, that's tricky because when we were young, my great-grandmother, no, my grandmother, Ethel Fletcher, was a showgirl in Chicago. Oh. And so all our, my first memories of growing up were dressing up in her glitter platforms and her crazy outfits from being on stage. And that's where I got the bug to be like, oh my God, I want to be like this all the time. You know, so probably like three or four, just playing dress up all the time. So you will say, yeah, then you born like that? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I definitely feel her blood. In fact, when I'm um, performing, I feel her, her, I feel her essence, you know, so I think that her spirit definitely is in mm -hmm. me and I definitely got her cheekbones. So I'm grateful <laughs> for that. <laughs> what will be next for Alessandra? Well, I'll tell you, I would love, especially if any of your viewers out here have a connection to a children's show like Yo Gabba Gabba, I would love to be a character on a children's TV show, teaching them lessons of health and wellness and you know like uh, the new like a new um, a new perception of the future you know coaching them with um, health smarter health choices um, wiser uh, and more creative decisions or creative mm -hmm. examples of how to use you know recycling or something like that but something for the kids I, I really feel great connected show, to I'm that. Sure. Wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. How would you call it? <laughs> I don't know, but um, <laughs> fun time with Extravazandra. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Extravazandra yeah. is your artistic name, right? When I'm looking like this, I, yeah, okay. my show name. Only when you are looking like that. Well, I, <laughs> the, in spirit, um, I am Extravazandra all the time, but when I look like this, I really... Why Extravazandra? Extravazandra, um, Alexandra, the extravagant version of Alexandra oh, in okay. a condensed word. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> we let you perform and thank you again for coming to Let It Shine show. Absolutely. Yes, remember people, Let It Shine is park. Let it shine, let it shine.